hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be walking you through my um, painting process for my most recent painting which i decided to call the sun is a peach i unfortunately was only able to record the beginning painting process um i don't know why my phone didn't pick up the rest of it and i also just didn't get the rest a lot of it on camera <laughs> But yeah, this is a beginning process. I started out with the projector and I'm just painting out the peach. I found a reference picture and I'm just um, kind of painting over that. Um, to me, the peach represents softness and gentleness and femininity overall. These were things that I was really craving at that time in my life. Um, I was working a job I really didn't like. I was in a setting that I didn't align with and that I just found uninspiring overall. I just wanted to paint all day and read books and do things that inspired me, but instead I was at a desk and stuck to Google imaging paintings just to feel that sense of self. It was like trying to force two puzzle pieces that didn't go together. I had to do so much mental and spiritual gymnastics just to stay sane and feel like myself in this environment. A journal entry I wrote a few days before I left the job stated, yesterday I almost didn't make it to work, but I showed up and I made it to the end. I made it through any hardships and even came up with a new painting series. I walk in today with the same inspiration. I walk in today with confidence. There's even little prayers that I would write before I went into work because I would just have so much anxiety and just felt so out of line. And I just don't believe in putting that much energy and that much spiritual energy, especially into any corporate job or any job that doesn't align with my life's purpose. I crave the time and space to create. Um, and I also use dreaming and meditation to tap back into myself and my creative visions. I would often feel like I was balancing myself out on a scale that was challenged each day and something that I had to rebalance each day. On one end is my earth self and that's the self that I love and embrace and it's the face I put on for business or pretending to be like an adult. <laughs> and on the other end is my soft self and my sensitive self and who I truly am at the core. The parts of me that have been shamed and I've been told that will not benefit me in the real world. And so this painting to me is about making peace with the two and just accepting both sides of that and accepting that all of these things make me who I am. And also reclaiming these things for myself. Sensitive and sensitivity in itself doesn't have to be a bad thing. Softness doesn't have to be a bad thing. And a lot of the times people tell us that there's no place for it in the real world but i am set on making the real world a place where sensitivity can thrive where people are more sensitive because i feel like we need way more of that in the real world if you ask me aside from the peach <laughs> Um, this was a vision that I would see often while meditating or in my dreams or just closing my eyes. <laughs> it's like how some musicians are able to write their emotions into lyrics. Instead of lyrics, I would visualize my emotions and I would kind of piece together images in my mind and that's how I get my ideas and my compositions and I just find references and things like that that I can use to help guide my vision and bring it to life but overall they are just images and things that I conceptualize my emotions into being. I know that may sound crazy but <laughs> that's just how my mind has worked ever since I started to do art seriously um, ever since I was around 13 or 14 that's how I would do it. I would literally like see things in my mind or have like representations of certain emotions or certain feelings in my mind. And then I would look at pictures of them and draw them out. And <laughs> that's how I got a lot of my skill to this day. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed painting the peach because this was the part that I really wanted to stand out and the part that I want the viewer's eye to be drawn most to. 
and it's also what I put the most detail into. Um, I really wanted it to be detailed and I really enjoyed doing the detail for it. Um, I've done a lot of like still life paintings and I've always enjoyed doing those and this wasn't necessarily a still life. I did just kind of look at a reference back and forth and paint it out like that. But yeah, it was still fun nonetheless. I did a lot of practices um, in my sketchbook and on Procreate just to, you know, perfect it. But I am still so satisfied with how it turned out. Um, yeah, I really love, love, love how this painting turned out. I took a big break from it because I was scared to mess it up. <laughs> Um, because it was too perfect. It was just perfect to me and I was scared to add anything to it or take anything away But I knew it needed to be completed Like my TikTok was saying um, it is the first painting out of a new series that I'm doing that is based off of fruit and florals I think that they are both just really beautiful to paint and study but I don't know they just call to my expression and I feel like they express how I feel the most. I was just writing ideas for a new painting that is based off a poem that I wrote just about the current events in the world and how it makes me afraid to have kids and bring children into this world and into this society. It makes things like Handmaid's Tale just like really scary because I'm afraid that we'll be forced to bring life into a world that is not fit to hold life. <laughs> Speaking of A Handmaid's Tale, I just was watching this girl's TikTok about how the book Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler is a much more accurate prediction in interesting lens of what the future holds for women than Handmaid's Tale is. And so I've heard of Octavia Butler um, and so I started to listen to the audiobook a bit on YouTube and it takes place in 2024 and it's through a black girl's lens, a 15 year old black girl and it was really interesting. I only listened to chapter one but after listening to it it convinced me to go um, get it from the library. I haven't been able to yet, but I really want to go get it and read it for myself. And I think it's part of a series she has that's called Earthseed or Earthling or something like that. But um, if any of y'all have read any of the books in the Earthseed series or any other Octavia Butler books at all, let me know how they were. I'm starting to get back into my reading. But yeah, I'll let y'all know how that is once I get and finish the book. My website is up www.earthlytreasures.com and prints of this painting will be up soon as well. So yeah, stay tuned for this painting and prints of it and prints of the other paintings that will be in my series. Um, all the paintings in this series will be sold on my website at some point. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending time with me and here are the finished results of this painting.